One of the major concerns with an aging population is that Medicare costs are spiraling out of control. They're going up by tens of billions of dollars on a yearly basis, and it's threatening to break our uh, federal budgets. And if we invest now in figuring out ways to extend health span so that these people are still highly functional and they have low health care costs, we'll find that it could be a very positive thing, but we have to really invest now into finding ways to keep people healthy longer. The extension of a healthy lifespan uh, pays economic dividends that would extend for generations. I mean, we've estimated in our own research that a minor deceleration in the rate of aging, very small change for the U.S. would add over $7 trillion to the national economy over the next couple of decades. Both by history and by habit, most of our national investment in medical research is aimed at research that is specific to individual diseases. What is driving all of these diseases that we're seeing in an aging society is the same damage taking place in our aging bodies. In order to make the greatest progress that we need to make, we need to get those scientists out of their silos. We get, need to foster more collaboration, more sharing of information, setting common goals, having them pursue the goal of healthier aging for our population across the board. It is an achievable goal, and it's one that could be the ultimate legacy of this generation. The potential of aging research is not to make us older for a longer time. We want to slow the hands of time so that we might enjoy more years of healthy, vigorous life. Why shouldn't this be our next great national priority? To learn more and get involved, visit healthspancampaign.org.